So we start off this episode with a important transfer, or a possibly an important transfer here, as we try and get Yuri Tielemans, having sold Jonathan Ikone in the last episode. Spoiler alert, sorry I didn't mention that before, but if you check out the last episode, we sold Jonathan Ikone uh, over to Bayern Munich for around £85 million. So we need to try and replace him, and I think Yuri Tielemans is a decent replacement for him. Maybe not as creative, but a, uh, a really good um, central midfielder. So we're gonna go in with, we're gonna go in with 50 million. Uh, oh no, what happened there? Why did that happen? <laughs> they won 66 million. I'm not sure. I think because the um, I think because the uh, Ikone deal hasn't gone through, we haven't got the money. But it uh, looks like we've missed out on Tielemans here because we went a bit too early, which is a shame. Because uh, I've really been struggling to find central midfielders. So maybe we have to just wait for this Jonathan Ikone transfer to go through before we replace him. But... Before all of that negotiation transfer shenanigans, uh, we have a very, very big game here. We have a the first leg of the EFL Cup against Chelsea. Uh, we've struggled against Chelsea in the past, um, but this season in the EFL Cup, we've we've played better than we ever have really in, in any part of the season. Um, so hopefully we can transfer some of that form in. Obviously, I'm going to make some changes to the team, and uh, yeah, we'll see how this game goes. All right, so here we go. I'm, I'm very tense, you know. I'm very tense. Uh, I really want to get to the final here, win our first trophy as a Watford manager, show the progress we've been making as the season has been going on. Uh, but Chelsea are not going to be an easy team. I know that. Jonathan Ikone, I'm, I've decided to start him, even though he is leaving. Like, he is he is one of our best players. Um, so we've got to make sure that we include him when we can. It was Jordi Alba who's at left back for Chelsea, so they look like they've made a little purchase. Oh, no. Oh, what is that? That was a fantastic step, a step over. Thought I tackled him. I'm not sure who that is. It's Kovacic there. As he it was a nice little step over. Very nice step over. But I thought I tackled him. Game, I think, screwed me there. Great little play there. Oh, ref. Oh, no. Oh, I thought it was a little pass back. But uh, Kepa didn't hold onto the ball. But there we go. Kone and Williams with a decent little bit of play. Opening up the Chelsea defence for the first time. Oh, nice little play there. Regulon manages to get in behind. And Iñaki Williams. Oh, he got away from his defender. It was a perfect cross. Everything was perfect apart from the finish. It was such a tame header. Straight into the ground. That's Kante doing Kante things. And uh, blocking out anything and everything. Oh, it's Inyaki Williams through here. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, man. He should have scored in the first place, but then the ball just faffing around. Oh, no. Oh, everything's not going our way today. How many chances have we made? How many great chances? We haven't taken any of them. Oh, man, that's so frustrating. Oh, no. Oh, there's another chance there for Valverde. Kepper is just like the size of a beast. And it's half time. Oh, my God. We made enough chances to win like three games in that one half. Oh, so frustrating. There we go. Trying to get Delefeu in behind. Hi, Saj. Yes, finally. Something comes off for us. And that is Regulon. Wow, what was he doing up there? He's tucked it away. He uh, wow. carried on his run into the box. Now, cut back from Delefeu. And, and uh, maybe it was the defenders we needed all along up there to get the goal. Regulon with his, well, his first goal of the season, I think. But a very, very important one to make it one all. Finally, a goal that we deserve. Yeah, Trying to bend one in and he gets the deflection. Let's try to bend it in the far corner there, but we get the deflection. I'm not sure who it came off. We'll have a look here on the replay. Maybe it came off a Chelsea man. Yeah, it did come off the defender. Threw Kepa completely. And from being 1-0 behind. Oh, it counts as an own goal. Oh, that's a shame. Came off man alas. Um, but yeah, 2-1 up. Exactly what we needed. We talked about half-time taking our chances. That's exactly what we've done so far. And uh, interesting to see how Chelsea play from now on. A third goal here would be huge if we could get it. 
to give us a two goal advantage going into the uh, second leg. Into Ikone. Oh, and he does make it 3 1. We just talked about the importance of getting that third goal. And Jonathan Ikone makes me so sad that he's going to be leaving. But signing off in style, Jonathan Ikone with a strike to make it 3 1. Smashed in at the near post. Fantastic goal from Jonathan Ikone. There he goes. We clear the ball there. That should be it for the game. As Kante picks the ball up and uh, Chelsea try and get another cat, another attack, but that is it. 3-1 in the first leg. Fantastic performance. I wouldn't say we've got one foot in the final, but like that's better than I could have hoped it went. Um, so that's a fantastic start to this episode. Finally, we're getting somewhere in the cups. So we begin the post-Jonathan Ikone era, as we shall now call it. Uh, against Norwich, uh, a team that we drew against, but we definitely should have beaten. So hopefully we can right that wrong and get the W in this game. And uh, yeah, make sure we get back, keep our winning ways, keep that momentum from the Chelsea game. Uh, and show Jonathan Ikone that, you know what, we're still good without him. Oh, and Yaki Williams here yeah, got the pace. Get away from his man if they try and tug him back. But they can't stop him. Oh, but Tim Krul can. Oh. How is Inyaki missed that? He had the pace. Absolutely accelerated past his. As he gets it into Kessie. Ooh, that was way too easy. Uh, Inyaki Williams had way too much time. And uh, that's the kind of position that Inyaki, uh, Jonathan Ikone used to find himself in. But Kessie making no mistake there. Getting uh, probably one of his first goals of the season. He hasn't scored too many this season. But we get the first goal in the game. Which has been. We haven't scored the first goal in the game for a long time. Um, so after that, Inyaki Williams miss. We didn't wait too. We don't have to wait too long before we got the goal. Oh, look at that! That was a fantastic ball from Delefe into Inyaki Williams. Oh no, he slowed down. I slowed down to try and give him the time. I got tackled from behind. Thought maybe if it was going to get tackled from behind, it probably would have been a penalty anyway. But it was a great tackle by the defender. And uh, Inyaki Williams' search for a goal today continues. Ziyech here in behind. Can he make, can he take his chance? He can't take his chance as the ball comes out to Kessie and he picks up a brace. It looks like it's probably going to be only open goals. That's about all we're going to be able to score today. Tim krul has been on a madness. And there we go. Kessie showing that we're not missing uh, Jonathan Iconi as he gets his fourth Premier League goal there. Uh, showing that he can be the goal scoring midfielder. Maybe we don't need to buy someone. Maybe Kessie can be that man. And there we go. Full time whistle. We make it 2 0 against Norwich. We right the wrongs of that draw earlier in the season. Uh, we, could, we, we probably should have won that game like 7 or 8 0, but it looks like we're now in a bit of a flow. Uh, making chances, scoring goals against these teams. Hopefully that continues into the next game. So we got a bid for Matteo Genduzzi from um, from Spurs, and I'm very tempted because, like, although he's a good player, he's not a starting midfielder for us, and I think we might be able to get like circa 50 million for him. So I will take that. I'm not sure how well that'll go down with the Arsenal fans, him going over across North London to Spurs, but I don't care about that. Um, it's our final offer. Do we accept? Do we accept 40 million? That's not a bad deal, you know, for for Matteo Genduzzi. Uh, let's just uh, let's accept it. Let's get rid of Matteo Genduzzi. He's been he's done all right for us. He hasn't done anything special, so that's why I'm not too concerned about letting him go. But we're a bit short in the midfield space now, so we're definitely going to have to pick up uh, some purchases here. Otherwise, uh, Billy Gilmore will be playing a lot more games. <laughs> and for the final time this episode, we play against Aston Villa at home in the Premier League. Looks like we've got a bit of uh, January snow here. I uh, really need to learn how to do free kicks. That would be, be really helpful. Oh, that was not... that. I say I need to learn how to do free kicks. That was not a bad knuckleball there from Gerard Delifeu. Really had the keeper struggling there. Valverde this time. He was able to skip away from his defender. But uh, his strike was saved by the goalkeeper. Oh, decent header from Inyaki from the corner. 
It's not often we get chances from corners, or decent chances from corners, but his keeper's doing well. He's doing bits for Aston Villa today. Wow. We got popped there. <laughs> we got played around so mad. Look at this. What are they doing? Look at that. Oh, we got... We were nowhere near them any time in that attack. And just as I talked about uh, trying to get ahead at the beginning of the second half, we actually go behind, which is the complete opposite, obviously, of what we want to be doing. And uh, we have to come back from behind yet again. So it looks like that's going to be our forte this season, coming back from behind. Well, hopefully it is. But we have to first focus on getting an equaliser before we uh, try and turn our attention to trying to win this game from this position. Oh, Inyaki Williams. With the chance, and he buries it. That's all we needed. That one chance, a one decent chance for Inyaki Williams. We've done this so often, where we just had to, where we've had to turn up. We have turned up there. He had the composure to cut inside, bring it onto his right foot, and slot it in to make it one all. For only his ninth Premier League goal of the season, so a much slower season for him this season uh, compared to last. But we got about five minutes to see if we can make it two one. Um, it's going to be tight in terms of timing, but I believe we've drawn too many games like this this season. Uh, it looks like it probably will be another draw now, now that we're in stoppage time. Oh, got to make sure we don't lose it, though. Oof, luckily, that was offside. But, uh, yeah, we've got to pump this one forward. Ah, that one's gone a bit too far there from Diop. And, uh, yeah, it looks like that will be it, and that is a draw. That is frustrating. I don't think we deserved a draw there. Maybe in the, in, the, in the case of the game we did because they scored a good goal, but we should be beating teams like Aston Villa. We've got to be beating teams like Aston Villa. It's just, there's no way we're going to hit our objectives if, uh, if we can't beat Aston Villa. So that is the end of this episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed this one. We started off with a great win against Chelsea. Obviously, we've got the second leg, which I think will be in the next episode. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that one. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series. I hope you guys are all staying safe in isolation. But thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll catch you on the next one.